Let's see how good of a teacher oh, what? Brent Chapman is. Wait, don't tell me. Do I just loop that? <laughs> when would I use a uni knot? A wife that's never tied? Yes, knots? exactly. Okay. This is very, very simple. I'm ready. Okay? If you can tie it, they can tie it, right? That's right. If I can tie these, you can tie them too. Oh, you dang. Uni knots. Here it is. I'm going to teach Bobby how to tie the uni knot. Are you ready to tie the uni knot? Complete beginner. I've never tied any knots before, so, so he's. I am a novice. Bobby does not fish. If she does, I hand her a rod and say, here, reel this in type That's thing. That's my kind so, of fishing. So, yeah, so you're going to learn how to tie the uni knot. I'm ready. Okay. So. When would I use a uni knot? Just. If you're, a, if you're a newbie to fishing and you're trying to learn a couple knots, if you're a mother that's trying to teach her kid, a new junior fisherman, whatever, if you're just out going out to have some fun. A wife that's never tied knots? Yes, exactly. Okay. This is very, very simple. I'm ready. Okay? So take your, your hook or your bait, whatever, in your left hand. Okay. You can do this with whatever line you have. Okay. It doesn't have to just be braid. And if you have questions about line, you can... Go to uh, Brent Chapman Fishing as well. <laughs> so just take take this, run it through the eye of your hook. Okay. So get, uh, I don't know, eight inches or so out there, 10 inches. And then all you're gonna do is put your hook in your left hand now. Okay. And you're gonna pinch those together, but, okay. but have the hook, there you go, like that, okay? So now do you have plenty of line to work with here? Get a little bit more. It's always better to have a little more line than not enough line. Okay. okay. So you got your tag in here and then you got your line going to your Am I pinching it rod. tight on the eye of the hook? Yes. Yeah, so okay. pinch them together. Got okay. It. So take your tag in now. Okay. So this is your rod. So it's usually better to keep it a little bit tight so it's easier to work with. So you got your tag in here got and it. all you're gonna do, you're still, you pinch it tight now. Damn. And you're gonna make a loop. And then pinch it in my thumb? And pinch it in your thumb, but give yourself plenty of line to work with. Keep going a little bit more. Okay, I don't have like a very big so. Circle then. Okay. Okay. Like that, okay? Got See it. that? So we've made the, the loop, we've pinched it, you got the line to your rod, and all we've made is a simple loop here, okay? Okay. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna wrap it through here about six times. So going away from me, yep. back, through back through the loop. So one. One. And then but stop. You've got to have more line to work with here. You're, you're going to get down towards the bottom and you're going to be worried because uh, you don't have enough to work with. So make your loop a little bit smaller. Because that was one. And then go back over the top, yep. away from me. Two. Two. Now look how I'm doing that. Three. Four. Five. Three. Wait, four, wait, five. Now see, you're kind of struggling here. If this was your rod and you were kind of pulling it tight, it'd be a little bit easier to work with. So there you go. I got it. I need one more. Well, yeah, one more. I'd recommend one more. Six. Six. Okay. So now look. You're, wait, wait, wait. That's good. You're right. I, don't, I didn't get through. I don't have my glasses on either. So in my defense. I'm flying blind. Okay, so you got that. Okay, got see it. that? Mm -hmm. So now. Do I get to lick it? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let go of this side. So there's your knot. Now take your tag in and your main line and kind of pull the tag in. Wait, am I holding the main line too? Yes. But pull, yeah, see there. So you hold go. them together? Yeah, but just pull on the. You, so see, I'm just yes, on the tag. Yes, it's going. Yes, see? You're doing it. Keep pulling. There you go. Now, there's your knot. Did I pull it knot. really tight? No, don't pull it real tight. Oops. That's fine. You didn't okay. pull it that tight, I assure you. And, and with heavier line, you can get away with a lot more. So there's your knot, okay? Now, this is where you get to wet it a little bit. Only do your own knot. In this day and age, <laughs> you can only wet your own knot or spit on your own knot. So now, let go of your tag. Let go of the tag. And just cinch that down on your, your bait. Oh, you dang. See how simple that was? I did it. Okay, cool. Yes, and imagine if you practiced it a couple times. How, but guys, that, 
that is a very, guys and gals, this is a very, very simple knot to tie. You can use it on braid, fluorocarbon mono. Uh, it's a great knot. So I have to get the tag close or not close? Uh, not. I don't know uh, what I'm doing on that little weight. Just, I mean, whenever you, when you tie it on a bait, you don't want to leave a tag in like this because that doesn't look very natural. You always want to, uh, you always want to leave a little bit because a knot could slip. So I always leave maybe a eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, so show me, I'm going to do it now. Cut mine off and I'm going to do it and That's see if I can do it. not all the way down there. See, look, there you go. I got to put some muscle into yeah, it. Yeah, put some muscle into it. <laughs> so just look. See how the cutters? Yes, okay. Like so. Okay, cut that off for me. I'm gonna try it on my own. Let's see how good of a teacher <sighs> Let's Brent Chapman is. Okay, are you ready? I've taught you how to do it. You've tied it with me. Yep. Now let's just see if you can do it on your own. Yep, okay. So My first thing is I want more line because last time I didn't have enough. It's always better to have more than not enough. So thread it through single, right? Yep. Okay. This and then eight. have, you said eight inches, so I'm gonna do that much. That's good, do, yep. And then I'm gonna, wait, don't tell me. Am I gonna pinch this? Wait. Do I just loop that? <laughs> so run it through. <laughs> I did that, okay, I got that right now. Run it through, you got your plenty of line in your left hand. So bring these back together. Yep. Okay. All right. Now I got it. Okay. Yep. Now. So now I have you got these. your loop. Now I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to make a. Yep. I want those to stay together, though. Well, it's, it's make a decent sized loop, and I'm going to pinch those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it. I'm pinching that with Hold that. On. No, you're doing it double. You're just, just your tag in line. Just my tag is looping? Yes. Okay. So this goes off to your rod. Remember, okay, keep okay. that tighter. So now I'm making a loop. Yep. Wait, I need more line. I'm a newbie, because I need a bigger thing. So make a circle. Yep, but just kind of get that out there where you can work with it. And then I'm gonna take the tag in and I'm gonna go away from me yep. over both the line from the rod and in through the loop. And yep. then I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna do the same thing, go over, away from me, through the loop. Two. You have to have really good hand coordination for this, I'm finding out. And I don't have that. Two. Three. So I have three yep. loops over. Wait. You have to have good coordination. I'm not used to this. And well, and you're doing it with your left hand. I'm not left-handed, so this is hard. Well, it's just practice. Four. I think. Yep. <laughs> Five. You've almost made it too big is what's happened, <laughs> which is fine, but it's because you're practicing. But see, you've made it so big, it's hard to just work with right here. So, so you've made the knot. Now let go with okay. your left hand okay. and just hold the hook. Don't spin it, but just, okay, now take your tag and just cinch that up. So see, it's kind of gotten so big there that you want it to kind of... Should I start over? No, you're good. So pull these. Oop. Like so. Okay, right. So have your loop a little smaller and your tag a little bigger when you're doing it. Yes, sure. So, okay, so I wet that. Now am I pulling you're on done. the tag you're or on kinda, this? Or on uh, the, from the rod? Just pull on from the rod. From the rod. Yep. Okay, so then drop the tag, grab the part from yep. the rod. So I'm not really done, because if I was done, the hook Well, right, no, now, so now, now I'm gonna, it down. Do I have to be careful? Well, you don't want to put the hook in your hand because that makes a great video. A husband removes a wife, or a husband removes a hook from a wife's hand would, it would have to be, be a viral video. It would have to be censored a lot. I'm sure Google would take it off of their <laughs> site because of the- uh, Okay, so I'm pulling this as hard as I can, but last time I didn't get all the way down. Do I do yeah, anything so with this? Take, take your, little, your little fingers off of here and. Grab it back here. Down like, at the bend. Yes, but come on, look. But get it, get a hold of it tightly. There you go. Okay. Now. Am I pulling on the tag in now? No. Well, both. You can pull on both. Oh god. Just you. Well, okay. So now grab that one. Pull it tight. Okay. Now you're ready to cut your tag end off. Here, you cut it off. Leave, 
leave about a eighth of an inch. Like right there? Yeah, sure. Like so. Uni knot. There you go. Right? Uni knot. Very good. So. I got it. If you can tie it, they can tie it, right? That's right. If I can tie these with the best teacher ever, you can tie them too. There you go. Thank you, honey. They're like. Aww. <laughs> <laughs>